Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is a series of videos about what's new in Painter X3 or Painter 13 if you prefer. Okay, this time we're going to talk about uh, advanced brush controls. Now I know that sounds rather heavy for most everybody because most of us don't know a lot about the brush controls to begin with. But you're going to love this. And I think it's going to revolutionize the way uh, people use Painter and make the brushes much more user-friendly. So what am I talking about? Well, right now I have one of my custom brushes called Desert Flow selected uh, to paint with. And if I were to paint with it, it looks something like that. Okay. Now, suppose I want to change some feature about this brush. Well, before I would have to go over here and find the brush control panel that control the feature that I wanted to change. And sometimes I would have to look around because I couldn't quite remember. But nowadays, all I have to do is with the brush selected, I come up to the brush property bar and click on advanced brush controls. When I click on advanced brush controls, what opens are the brush control panels that are the most common brush control panels that would be used with Desert Flow. So I could change the spacing, the size, static bristle, I could change the opacity, the grain, all of these things I can change. And it's easy because they're just popped up. Here's well, which is something I could work with. Water, this is a water brush, not a water, I mean a watercolor brush, not a real watercolor brush. So I would use the water panel instead of the real water. Uh, the media panel tells me what... what paper has been selected sorry and i can change the selection of the paper right here um, i have color expression color variability stroke jitter um, dab preview which is very helpful because then i can see the three different versions of the dab preview and then stroke preview is one of my favorites because it makes a difference for me to see that stroke preview. In other words, if I come up here and I change the opacity to very light, then the stroke preview is going to change considerably. So see, I would be able to see that at that level of opacity, it's going to be real light on the... Uh, canvas. Anyway, this I think is, is revolutionary and will be very helpful because at a glance, you can see what is, what you can easily change. You don't have to go and look for them. If you don't know what well does, then you could go in there and play with it to see what it does. And it's just going to make everybody's life a whole lot easier. This is a fantastic new addition to painter. Alrighty, that's it for this one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.